What the f is that? That was a wild cat. Oh f no sh no sh that was a fing cat. Hey legends, how you going? It's Laz. And this one looks like it's gonna get pretty, pretty gnarly. Yeah, it is. I had to pick the gnarliest track to go down, didn't I? Shit! It's alright. I shall negotiate this. Because I can't turn around. Oh! Oh, you bastard! Just literally went like a centimetre into my eyeball. Oh, shit, that hurt. Okay. So. Got to, so we've been, me and missus, we've been thinking, right? I don't know, I don't know what this vlog is going to be called, but um, basically we're looking now. We were going to buy a property down in uh, Bunbury, um, or the outside of Bunbury. This is fucking gnarly as, bro, and it's steep. Like I'm talking steep, steep. Oh shit. I'm talking like super steep, bro, and rocky. I do not want to drop my bike and crack anything again. So I'm gonna get down here in one piece, and then I'll continue talking because I kind of don't want to not concentrate going down here. And uh, shit, I didn't even think of that. Oh fuck! I may have to come back up there. I fucking hope not. Or just stall it. Look at that, how nice is it down through here, eh? Starting to heat up now too, guys. We're getting pretty hot here. Um, I like I like how Ness goes uh, to everyone over in the States. Uh, get in the best you can while you can until winter hits. And all my Aussie friends, enjoy your summer. I hate riding in summer. <laughs> it's so hot. And uh, you come, I mean, I don't think it'd be too bad coming into it later on um, now, but when I had the 42, uh, not 42, the I had a 50 degree day. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Uh, 50 degrees. Uh, by nine o'clock, it was 45 in Leonora. Um, I worked till about 8:30, quarter to nine. Check the temp, 45. I'm going home. This is too hot for nine o'clock in the morning. 12 o'clock that night, it was still 40, 46 or 47, so it was bloody hot. Not too bad down here. Anyways, looks like we're starting to hit into the back of the pines here. Here we are, we've got a, got a track down here. My eyes hurt, and they, like it's actually stinging. Here we go. Got a main track here. That was a cool little track, that one. Let's keep going down that way, eh? Um, so yeah, like what I was saying before, we planned to buy a property down here, which we probably, we probably still will, uh, with a house of course, land and house, but what the f*** is that? That was a wild cat, oh f***ing no sh no sh that was a f***ing cat, and that was huge, holy f***ing snapping duck shit, did you see the size of that c Excuse me, I'm not meant to be swearing, but I'll bleep that out, <laughs> that was fucking huge! That was seriously fucking huge, man. It was like a puma. Like a puma, bro. Yeah, push, 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 push. There it is. Holy fuck, man. That's the size of my staffy. Holy shit. <laughs> Come back this way. Come back this way. That thing was huge. still hear it that was huge cat man that was the same size of my f***ing staffy and he's like he's like 32 something kilos where'd you go wow do you see the size of whoa motherfucker hey bro you're alright, buddy. There you go, fellas. Blue tongue. Look at you. 
Fury snake, you would have bitten me. So this is the one that I helped. Look at that blue tongue, isn't that awesome? Look at that, come on, stick it out. Come on buddy, stick it out, there we go. Stick it out, don't piss on me this time though. Piss it out, come on, come on. Look at that, I don't want to stress this little bloke out. I reckon that cat would have eaten this bloke if we didn't scare it off. Could you imagine if this was a snake? This was a snake, I would have just got bitten. There you go. This one could be called when Wild Animal Tax 4 and you got cat piss pants on. Yes, I do. Alright, budgie, I'm going to let you go over this side away from that motherfucker. Because he would have got you. And eat. Oh, you're probably over there for the sun, aren't you? I'll just pop you back, butter. Here we go. Now, could you imagine if he was a snake? There you go, Ben. There you go. How cool is that? Stick your tongue out. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. How awesome is that? Come on. Yeah. Move that out of the road. Look at that. He's awesome, eh? Oh, wish I could do something with animals, eh? It'd be cool, you know, apart from pest control killing them. I mean, I wouldn't mind killing that cat. Only because it's feral. And f***ing huge. Look at the size of that lizard. That's sick. Fuck, I love Australia. <laughs> but see, you guys over in America have those big fucking... Those big cats. There he goes. You have those big fucking mountain lions, man. Fuck that. I would hate that. I know Nest had one in his backyard. Um, that was fucked up. Yeah, so we're going to buy property, but now Chelsea's put into my head that we could buy a 4x4 camper trailer. And now she just mentioned that Oh shit. Now she mentioned it as a idea. Now of course me being me, anything to do with the outdoors or anything like that, I'm on it. Absolutely on it. And uh, I was all over this like kid in the lolly shop man, fuck boom. All over it, loved the idea. Straight onto uh straight onto eBay, straight onto anywhere that would sell them. I have no idea where we are. <gasps> oh, mother God, that would have hurt. Fucking hell, man, there's a lot of water around, eh? I don't remember it raining. Um, so I found a few. Only thing is, they're, they're worth about. Hmm. Oh, oh, fuck yes. The only thing is, the ones that I've been looking at are worth around about 24 grand. Now, there are some cheaper ones, but then you have to set them all up with the stuff that you want by buying them anyway, so... Um, which is no biggie, which is doable. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we kind of want to do a lot of travelling before we have kids, but at the same time, I am more than happy to do travelling with kids. So yeah, I mean, these are our options. I love it out here, man. Seriously, I would live out here if I could. Oh shit. I mean, how nice is the sound of the water? Man, do you know how hard it is to walk in these fuckers? Oh, I'm in. I wonder if there's any fish in here. Look at that, that is, that is beautiful. Fucking love it, love it. Absolutely love it. Forgot what I was talking about completely. Absolutely, completely forgot what I was talking about altogether. Not even in the slightest I do I remember. <laughs> oh yeah, options. So that's that's some of our options. Instead of having a honeymoon, we're going to go and do that instead. Don't know why I'm walking. <laughs> Here we go. Got to get that fucking cat piss off me. Oh, you bastard cat. Whew. What's going on here? Yeah, that's pretty much what we got in the pipeline. So, I suppose my question today is, why, well, ever done any uh, 
traveling with your partner, with kids, without kids? Did you enjoy it? Would you do it again? And how'd you do it? I even do a video response to it, eh? That'd be pretty cool. That would be cool. Anyways, legends, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. We found our little peaceful stream again. I'm going to head back on that way, try and find a way here without having to go the rough way with my, in my car. And might even try and go up really high today, see how far we can go. Anyways, legends, thanks for watching. I'm Laz. Uh, don't forget to leave me a, a reply, a comment on uh, whether you went traveling or not and how you did it. Cheers for watching. I'll catch you next time.